Hello and welcome gorgeous Aquarius to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You may see a sign, a symbol, a message on one or several of the cards. If you do take notice of that, it is a message direct from Spirit to your situation for guidance. So let's take a look at your first card. And we have your sign here, Aquarius. Beautiful. So this is quite an empowering energy for you. Um, there is a sense of the universal energy supporting you. Um, supporting you over the next week, especially if you trust your intuition and you trust the universal flow, you trust the inspirations that you're receiving from spirit or from the universe. Um, so there's a great support energetically for spiritual development, for intuitions, for prayers being heard and answered um, and trusting in the flow of things. Yeah, I love that. Beautiful support there for you this week. And we have a Gemini. So a Gemini might be important in your life, perhaps. Speak your world into being. So communication. Yes, communication is important this week between you and someone. Um, this might be someone in your workplace. It might be a, in your personal life. Um, but how you will know uh, who this person is it is I feel that there is um there's a longing, a desire, a need to talk to this person. So you already know that you need to speak to this person or you desire to speak to this person. Um, and it looks like there's going to be some kind of creation that happens with this communication. Beautiful. Let's take a look at this deck. Guidance for Aquarius, please, spirit, angels and guides, bring through a message for Aquarius. A time for healing. Beautiful. So this is not only physical healing, but this is emotional healing or psychological healing, maybe even spiritual healing for you. I do see energy work happening. So you may be an, a light worker, an energy worker. You might be working with energies or feeling energies more strongly than you have before. You may be a healer in your profession. It may also resonate in that way for you. Adjustments are required. So where is it in your life that you feel that you're, you're needing to adjust, you're needing to realign? Because that's the area of life spirit is speaking to here, Aquarius. And understand it may be necessary to go with the flow and maybe necessary to um, go back to this very first card to trust the universe, to trust the universal flow when changes happen or adjustments happen in your day-to-day -day life just understand that there's a higher power that's working for your good so some changes interesting turn of events um, some miraculous changes for some may happen as well and it's to do with an adjustment wildness and freedom let go and be so perhaps you're wanting more freedom in a situation and you'll know if that's true for you you're wanting more wildness more freedom to be you to be uniquely you maybe time to let go of a situation that's been holding you back creativity sees the day so you're going to have a creative burst a creative inspiration if this is in your work where you're quite creative in your job, this looks like a wonderful productive week. If you feel that there's a block to your creativity, there's also breakthroughs, um, especially when you communicate with someone about, about the issue, there's going to be a breakthrough. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what this deck reveals. Guidance for Aquarius, please spirit. Okay, this one here is yours. Inspiration. Begin now. Exactly what I was feeling. You're going to have an inspiration to perhaps be more creative or it might be something else. It might be connected into healing. We have the healing card right above it. So you might be inspired towards some kind of healing. 
and also taking the initiative to begin now. Now is the right time for something. Um, something you may have been putting off, something that may have been pushed to the side, but now is the time. You're going to feel it in all of your being and just know that it's the right time to do or say this. In nature, connect with nature. So, of course, animals, plants, sitting in nature, finding a sacred place that you meditate or that you commune with nature is important. Great for groundedness, but also spirit connection and messages as well. I do feel that there's a lot of wisdom that's going to be revealed to you if you connect with nature or be in nature when you connect to the divine. Beautiful Gaia energy there. In some way you may be you may be protecting Gaia energy. I do see that for someone protecting Gaia energy. Yes. Okay, let's see here Aquarius what this deck reveals. So we have the two of air, being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretending there is no problem, overanalyzing a situation. So be aware that if you overanalyze, if you stay in the mind space, then it's going to cause a problem. It's about dropping into your heart and being willing, yeah, being willing to follow your heart rather than trying to make others happy or mm, be overridden by your mind the five of air an unwise choice see if you don't listen to your heart and your intuition and you just listen to your mind you might make an unwise choice or perhaps that has happened already there's a better way that will make you happier Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. So this is a warning sign as well. If you feel that someone does not have your best interests at heart, it's time to, it's time to say goodbye. It's time to heal from this energy. The king of earth, compassionate, accomplished, charismatic and grounded. A time of great success, financial security and prosperity, the Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully, a supportive parent or, and spouse, a good person to work for. So if you are employed, if you are changing jobs or there's a, a shake up in your work, know that you're going to find yourself ultimately um, in the care of a good boss or a good person or a good company to work for. It's going to fulfill you in that way. There's also great financial security and prosperity. There's abundance here for you in a material sense. So I do feel that miracle is right on your doorstep. But you're just about to move toward this energy of financial security and prosperity. If you're not already in the energy. The queen of fire, brilliant, talented, talented. Um, independent and controlling perhaps there is nothing you can't do believe in yourself never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true the need for balance between career and personal life so yeah very dynamic energy you'll get things done this week don't underestimate your ability to make things manifest to make things happen uh, what you say and do this week is going to have immense impact and long-term effects for the positive. The aid of water. Now, this is about the need, the need to move on, seeking more from life than what you are experiencing. I feel there's a door closing and another door is going to open. So leaving something that you've been doing for a time. Leaving it behind, knowing that the, the times are changing and that things are going to shift up soon for you and something you've been, yeah, something that's been a part of your life for a while, uh, maybe for years is going to, um, or a routine or a habit is going to come to a close. A spiritual quest, it might be something spiritual, uh, maybe you're going on a different spiritual quest or discovering new things spiritually. Choosing to make big life changes. So yeah, that might also resonate for you. And if it's not at the moment, it may be coming in for you. Um, a change in priorities and maybe leaving home. So they might be traveling or leaving your home to do something significant. 
the four of water, failing to recognize a magical opportunity. So look upon these changes, these miraculous, beautiful changes that are taking place. Look at them in that way, not as a negative, but as miraculous change. This adjustment is going to be a positive one. Because you may fall into the trap of failing to recognize the magical opportunity that it is. Missing the point, the distractions of daily life, discontentment or boredom, lost in your own world, wake up. So about expanding, expanding your consciousness and wake up a little bit. Um, take yourself out of your emotions a bit um, and uplift your energies. Um, through doing spiritual practice, perhaps, or making a choice in alignment with your intuition and your heart. So let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you're quite welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your intuition and see if this resonates for your question. It's been wonderful to read for you today. I hope Spirit has come through with some messages for you. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.